That's an entire factory. That's like a quarter of our total. No, nope, that's a third of our entire industry. No, never mind. Xinjiang joined the Chinese United Front. Earlier today, China and Xinjiang issued a joint statement that the latter has now been formally granted member states of the Chinese United Front. Huzzah! I might actually start doing these early. I mean, we'll want the air superiority guy, but not really until we go to war. Silent workhorse? Maybe. Oh, no. Popular figure head. But we won't need you until we actually go to war. Yeah, I think we're going to start doing the region-wide industrial integrations. Let's get those uh, building slots. Mizzet coming in with a 28-month primary sub. Thank you very much for the ongoing support there, Mizzet. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There it is, Anschluss of Austria. Oh man, that almost got us to 25%. Well, now we can definitely do early mobilization. Yes, please. The Indian National Congress triumphs in the provincial elections. In the recent local elections, the Indian National Congress has achieved an overwhelming majority for the platform of slow order transition to local government and dominion status in the future. An Anschluss of Austria, after a successful coup d'etat by the local Nazi party in Vienna, German troops have crossed the Austrian border and taken control of the country. No fighting has been reported and German soldiers were greeted by cheering crowds in the cities. That's what they really want. Laboratory collaboration. Then let's get the, the, uh, the plan. Oh no, we can get Defensive Canada regulations because we now have 20% well tension. This is definitely what we want to do. Defensive Canada regulations grants subversive activities efficiency minus 50%, daily communism support minus 1, fascism support minus 0 0.1, 0 0.01 even. In times of war, civil rights need to be curtailed to prevent the version of war effort. This means restrictions on the press, dissident groups, and some legal rights. Refining. Now I think I want to research the MGs. Oh, no, it's still a long way away, never mind. It is 38, it is 38. I need to get a computer machine. We are going to be so technologically backwards. <coughs> Huzzah! Poet! Coming in with a 44-month primary sub. Thank you very much for the ongoing support there, Poet. Hope you're doing good. Uh, 44 months, almost one year. Turned 50 last week. Oh, nice! Forty-four months, almost one year. Uh, I think you mean almost four years. <laughs> Defense of Canada regulations. That was these ones. So now we can start working on the industrial output. And we want to get the Canada wheat board so we can get rid of that Great Depression. At least part of it. To prevent profiteering and hoarding, price controls have been, have been introduced to make goods available to most Canadians. No, I mean almost one month for every year of your life. Gotcha. Oh, that was something I discovered. Um, when I was back in the UK, I was a scout leader. And my scout leader is still a scout leader back from when I was in the scouts. And he has spent a full year just 
doing scout camps. A full year of his life. Because he was camping for one week every year. For 52 weeks? Uh, 52 years? An entire year under canvas at scout camps. I was blown away by that. Regional Defense Council of Aragon was annexed. Oh man. <laughs> I don't think this is looking good. Although they have such a tight cordon around Madrid, maybe it'll hold. This is actually kind of bad for the Germans, depending on how many troops they managed to squish into one narrow pocket. Bulgaria approaches the German Reich. Bulgarian government has signed a commercial agreement with several German companies in an attempt to strengthen ties to the German Reich, while stimulating the ejection of foreign capital into the country. And we can get another thingy McBlobby. Need 25% war support, which is not impossible. Next thing's going to be Czechoslovakia. I think from now on we're just going to keep the 150 in case we can go up in mobilization. Wartime prices and trade boards done. Let's get the Canada Wheat Board. This is a really big change. The devastation of our Western farmers in the Depression can be addressed if we revive and revigorate the Canada Wheat Board to set prices for the sale of wheat, barley, oats, and other crops. Because we're currently at a 50% consumer goods rate. Republicans are still going to have supply issues here, that's true in the South. Oh, justification for war. That's going to be Sudetenland. Which will come with another jump in uh, war tension. How many planes do I have? I have 150. You know what? We should probably start training those. Huzzah! That is using up fuel. So we're going to want to get the uh, the fuel injection as well. We'll probably also want to start thinking about getting close air support. But I want to make sure that we can wrestle control of the skies before we worry too much about close air support. CAS is going to be more of a thing, I think, in the North Africa campaign. There's the Canada Wheat Board. Okay, then I think it's going to be the National Resources Mobilization Act. And there's the research. Can't do that until we have that one, though. Never mind. Can't do that one either. Canada is large, with its population scattered in pockets across the land. A system should be developed to track employment status and make sure that anyone eligible for service overseas can be located. Actually, before we do that, the plan. Do you come with... No, it's just range and... Air attack. And this is a national spirit, so it gets added regardless of when you build the planes. Canada is large with its population scattered in pockets across the land. A system should be developed to track employment status and make sure that everyone eligible for service overseas can be located. Computing machine. August 38. Nice. Okay, now we definitely need to start working on the machine guns. Perfectly judged. Beautiful. Just about 10 days before we actually get the improved small airframes. And they're going to be ready to start producing. We're going to have 1940 planes in early 39. The 4th International, a number of communist delegates from around the world, blah blah blah, met in Paris today for a founding conference laying the groundwork for what is to be known as the 4th International. German demands for state and territory in Czechoslovakia, which is home to a considerable German minority, have intensified. At a summit held in Munich, Berlin, uh, in Munich, Germany, France, 
Britain, Italy sought a diplomatic solution to the so-called Sudeten crisis. Czechoslovakia was not invited. Hungary renounces the Treaty of Trianon. In a public declaration, Nicholas Horthy has renounced the treaty imposed by the Allied powers after the Great War. Now, meddling in the world of order. Huzzah! And with that, well, tensions at 26. More support at 20. Not quite the 25 we need. Once Czechoslovakia is gone, maybe. Pan A incident, that's another boost. American and British gunboats were attacked by Japanese aircraft in separate actions today while evacuating Western civilians from the front lines between Japan and China. Pass in time coming in with the 39 month. Hmm. Feels like I've done scouting trips for a year, though that might be down to our troop owning an arrowboat which had an engine fire. Beneath me. While I was at the tiller. Oh no, that's horrible. Hope you hope you're okay from that. Uh, KGC Reaper subscribed to tier 1. Thank you very much for the 11 month resub. You are just one month away from the Golden Wings. Beep boop. Time for soup. Or IG time for tea. Or it's time for tea. I will certainly drink to that. Cheers. Lou Blancan. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Nationalist victory in the Spanish Civil War. After a long and grueling civil war, the Nationalists united under Francisco Franco have finally defeated the Republican enemies and secured full control over Spain. Spins me now next. And then we got the Rumble of Thunder. I think I might do another nationwide integration. Oh wait, radio propaganda. Oh, that's just free war support. That's free war support. Oh yes. I'll be taking that partial mobilization, please and thank you. Now we have nine factories. Now we're rolling. To actually get those civilian factories done first now that we have no penalty to civilian construction. <laughs> national resources mobilization. Fund the National Research Council because we are kind of behind in technology. One of the following. So we could actually get the synthetic refineries as well. Uh, although the Alberta, yeah, okay, we're going to need these because that's all civilian factories. The Canadian shield is rich with nickel, copper, gold, and silver. We are given nature's bounty in minerals. It is time to exploit it. Ah. More fighters? More fighters. Gongsi has capitulated. And we're actually gaining fuel now. Right, because the other two air wings are probably drained. There's engines three. Naval search radar, improve radio, radio navigation 2. Radio navigation 2 is needed for planes, so I probably will wait for this to complete before switching to our new air aeroplanes. There's the heavy machine gun. And we could get the cannon, it's just 71 days, that would allow us to improve our close air support, but that is not a priority. I will say that getting these is probably the priority. Let's wait until January. It was fine, we were very close to a pub's moorings as it happens. <laughs> nice. Your economy law also improves fuel gain per oil, which is why that's now going up. Interesting. Two days there, miscalculated slightly. But it's January 1939, so we're going to go for you, and we're going to go for you. And we're going to go for. That's just naval, naval search radar, don't need that. 
And you. Okay, it is time for us to design... Oh man, we didn't actually get to use that many victories. <laughs> um, right, what are we going to call this? This is going to be the Abu! Which is probably going to be our most numerous airplane. Tier 3 engine. Heavy machine guns. With radio navigation 2, which gives us a 20% reduction to nighttime penalty. Which is pretty huge. And these are really advanced fighters. Uh, do I want to go all in with the air attack? It only costs three more productions. Cheaper than building a whole new plane. These things hit hard. And they only cost one more production point than four light machine guns. Yeah, there's no reason not to do this. Okay, upgrade them to the Arboos. Oh, changed icon. Thirty-six air attack and thirty-nine, nice. Yeah. I wanna add armor or self sealing fuel tanks. Uh true. I never actually really looked at those because they always felt like more of a fire bomber type of thing. I'm not even hundred percent sure what they do. I mean they are nineteen thirty six technologies. I could switch you know what, once we have Concentrated Industry 3, we'll get that and we'll have a look. I don't think we're going to be short on resources. And I'm also going to start getting some Doctrines, which I think is going to be Strategic Destruction. We are going for Strat Bombers eventually. Oh shoot, didn't have this going for a long time. Oh, that was a really long time. That was like a month. There are coal deposits all along the Rockies ready to be exploited. We can promote emigration to these new mine locations and improve employment in the West. It was only 14 days? Okay, cool. Glad someone's keeping tabs. <laughs> We'll take the interception detection. The German Reich reclaims Memel. With German forces on the borders poised to attack, Lithuania has given in to the German ultimatum, demanding the surrender of the old Prussian territory of Memel. Now I think it's worth buying in the rubber. So we can really ratchet up that production. I'm actually using the majority of the aluminium already. Seven factories. Arm tends to add a lot of weight, but the self-sealing fuel tanks is a big improvement to survivability. If you're doing a lot of combat, then the loss reduction ends up saving the production. Cool. Because I don't tend to go for bomber heavy stuff, I don't usually go for the more defensive things, because just having lots of cheap planes seems to be the way to go. Uh, National Steel Car, that is going to give me even more civilian factories. Which requires that, so this is as far in this direction as we can go. And this is going to help us with the rubber production. Though it has struggled through the depression, the National Steel Car Company has the expertise and the experience to help build the vehicles we will need 
for the expanded railway and army. Three. So now we were going to do the survivability study, 71 days. Because this would just be a variant, we could probably add them if we want to. The fate of Czechoslovakia. German troops have crossed into Bohemia and Moravia ostensibly to restore order in the regions in the wake of the collapsing Czechoslovakian government. Do I care about the range improvements? I th should probably research them, actually, it's not a matter of priority. Uh, this is. No, it's not. Does coordination affect aircraft? Sure. But we definitely want the fuel refining because we're going to need to keep as many of our planes in the air as we can. We have a surplus of fighters once again, so I'm going to say let's go ahead and bring in another wing. Still training. Why don't you all stop training? Advanced machine tools. Uh, we could get extraction technologies. I think I am going to get improved asymmetric radar. They've just been so useful. Oh, wait, I was going to get naval techs as well. Well, this still counts, because we can use the radar on our destroyers then. I've really become a fan of the, uh, the radar techs in that Germany game. An ultimatum has been delivered to the Albanian government by Italian diplomats demanding that they submit to complete military occupation. Could also do another improved. Well, no, hang on. You know what I can do? We can get the stability guy. Gets us 100 stability just like that. Cool. Canada has a history of science and advancement, but the need for researchers is greater than ever. It is time to throw more weight behind the NRC. We now have a full block of factories. Low manpower. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, right, now I'm going to start working on these naval attacks so I can overhaul the destroyers. Political power. Italy has joined the Ger German Reich. Italy and Germany have expressed many conflicting interests, particularly in Austria and the Balkans. This has not, however, prevented the country's foreign policies growing ever friendlier towards each other, and negotiations are underway for a pact that will protect common interests. Diplomats from Germany and the Soviet Union concluded what observers are describing as a historic agreement today with the signing of the Molotov Ribbentrop Pact, named after German Foreign Minister Joachim von Ribbentrop and his Soviet counterpart. Uh, Vilashlev Molotov, this non-aggression pact stipulates that neither the side will ally themselves with the other, with enemies of the other. Cool. Uh, fighters, still not enough. Improved decimetric radar. Now let's just get these blitzed out and done.
on the National Research Council. Nice as well. Okay, so Polymer Corporation. The new Crown Corporation, Polymer Corporation, has proven to be exceptionally efficient in the production of new rubber polymers, which may make me want to get some of the rubber production techs. Because we are going to be heavily reliant on those rubber imports. 